Welcome, Namaste, and welcome to Dr. Shah's clinic. In this quick video, we are going to answer the question: Can hernia cause male infertility? Now, if you look at the image on the right, you will see that a hernia is nothing but a protrusion of the abdominal wall contents into what's called as the inguinal canal. And here we are going to speak specifically on inguinal hernias. So normally you would have heard, you know, if you have a hernia, you have to go for surgery, right? So it's not the hernia per se that leads to male infertility, it's the hernia surgery. So say you're a young adult, say you're about 25, 26, 27 years of age and, you know, you have a hernia and you're diagnosed with a hernia through an ultrasound scan because you had chronic abdominal pain, lower abdominal pain, or you had a dragging pain or a dragging sensation in your balls, you visited a surgeon and the surgeon did a scan and they did a physical exam and found that you had a hernia. And if it's an inguinal hernia, what I would advise you and very sincerely advise you is that please don't go for surgery. Right? Don't go for a hernia repair surgery because until or unless your fertility is, fertility is complete or until or unless you have had a child, please do not do a hernia surgery. There are studies which now suggest that up to 7.2% and sometimes up to 27% of men who have been operated for inguinal hernia surgery repair using a mesh, they suffer from low sperm count as well as in some cases azospermia. And this is because what they do is in hernia surgical repair, they use a mesh which, which is used to compress the cord structures which supplies blood to the testis. So now the studies have clearly stated or to a large extent studies have found that post hernia surgery there is a decrease in the amount of blood flow uh, through, to the testis, there is a decrease in the sperm count specifically more so sperm motility, sperm motility is impaired more versus sperm count. There is also a slight decrease in testosterone, animal studies show a decrease in testosterone, some animal studies show there is an increase in testosterone but there is a hormone axis imbalance that is created and a variety of functions are impaired. So if you don't have a child yet, you probably don't want to go with a hernia surgery and should a scenario come where the hernia surgery is very important, say you have really large hernia, then the choice of procedure should be discussed with the surgeon. Now most patients forget that when they don't have a child, they should not do any surgery in their abdominal region or in their testicular region unless it's an absolute medical emergency. So this is something most people forget and especially in hernia surgeries which involves the usage of a polypropylene mesh. Now remember this polypropylene mesh, mesh which is usually wrapped around the cord structures. It causes a compression of the cord. When the cord is compressed, the blood supply to the testis goes down. Sometimes because of the scarring and the damage and the manipulation of the spermatic cord can obstruct the passage of the sperm transit pathways. And what basically happens here is when the man six months or one year after surgery, he does a semen analysis, he'll, found his, he'll find his count very low. Sometimes the individual, if he has been operated in childbirth, right? for example, pediatric inguinal hernias, 27.8% of these individuals eventually develop uh, you know, azospermia because of an obstructive etiology. So the concept is here, if you don't have a child, don't do any surgery in your abdomen, especially hernia. Don't do any surgery down in the testicular region, especially hernia. Finish having your baby, have your child and then you go correct the hernia. Most minor hernias don't need a surgical repair immediately. You can go with a wait and watch mode, you can wait for a year or two, see how the hernia is progressing, see how clinically you are worsening and then you can go for a surgery if required. So I hope you found this video very informative. Can hernia cause male infertility? Not directly, it's the hernia repair that can cause male infertility. Like, comment and subscribe and share this video with all your friends and loved ones. This is Dr. Shah, Vanakam and Namaste.